Alright, this is a video for some basic weight and balance calculations. So first we see here the problem one asks you to calculate the empty weight and empty weight CG for the following aircraft. It gives you the instructions that all the final empty weight and balance calculations must be given with unusable fuel and full oil. And just make a note that that is true for all empty weight calculations. It should include unusable fuel and full oil in the engine. So you might have to add full oil or you might have to subtract the usable fuel. And we're going to just show how to work this problem on the worksheets that were handed out. Okay, first of all, so I have the worksheet in the background and then the problem on the top there. So we're just going to start out filling the sheet in and we're going to fill in the scale reading for right, left, and tail wheel or nose wheel. In this case we have a nose wheel. So we have 909 pounds for the scale reading on the right one, and then the tear is 2.9. And tear is just, for example, chocks or something that's going to be on the scale that is not included in the weight of the aircraft. So you put chocks on the scale to hold the wheels on there so it doesn't fall off. So that is considered tear, and you're just going to subtract that. So we do right wheel, left wheel, and the nose wheel and you can see the numbers up above and then we're just going to subtract each of those and that will give us a net weight. Alright, we look at the second part of this chart and it tells us if we need to add items or subtract items, sorry, the next two portions. So this first one is items not to be included in the empty weight that's where we would subtract the fuel uh, that we didn't need. And then the next section, so just keep in mind you have to use unusable fuel only and full oil. In the next section, it asks us if there are any items that need to be added. This also is not applicable because the numbers they gave us were really nice and included everything that they were supposed to. So then we can look at the next section here for final calculations. We'll go ahead and write in the weight from up above of right left and nose wheel and then we have nothing to add or subtract and then you just look in the word problem and you find the arms for each of those so the right wheel is located 78 inches in a positive moment or a positive direction um, as the arm from the datum and the left wheel is also at 78, obviously, and then the nose wheel is at only 12.5 inches behind the datum, which is a positive number. Then we have to remember WAM, so weight times arm equals moment. So you're just going to multiply the weight times the arm and then write the moment in on the right-hand side. And you can, guys can do the calculations uh, with your calculator there, and then you're going to add those up, and that's going to give you the total moment. And remember now, uh, moms over weight equals arm. So M divided by W, moment divided by weight to, to empty weight, will give us the arm or the CG. So we're going to add up all those weights, and then we're going to divide the moment divided by the weight, and that will give us the arm of the whole aircraft, otherwise known as the center of gravity or the CG. So that number can be written in as empty weight CG, 57.6. And then you also can carry your empty weight down to the very bottom. So that's the first weight and balance problem. And then the other ones are very similar. I wanted to go to number five. And um, it's talking about if we're going to add and remove items from the aircraft. So it already gives you an empty weight and an arm in the word problem, 1670 and 41.3 inches. So you can go ahead and write those in. And this is on the sheet um, for adding and removing. It's not on the, the very first empty weight sheet. So then we're going to multiply those and we'll get a moment. Okay, then items to be removed. We're going to take out the oxygen bottle. That's what it tells us in the word problem. It's 15 pounds at an arm of 109 inches. That's going to give us a moment when we multiply those of 1635. So we just carry those numbers down to our total. That's all we're going to remove, but then we need to add those other two items. So you want to write the air conditioner unit in there, 
and then the control head as well. And as usual, wham, wait times arm equals moment. So you can figure that out for both of those. Then we're simply going to add the weights and the moments separately. We get a total added weight of 37.4 and then there's our additional moment. Now on this next section we're just going to add in our original numbers and then we're going to subtract the 15 pounds and add the 37.4 and that's going to give us a new empty weight. We're going to use the arm for the previous weight and we're going to multiply that out to get the moment and then Willie will also use the previous so this moment right here is taken from up higher on your sheet where you had the total to remove and then of course the total to add comes from just above on the section where you filled out the items to be added so those come from higher up on the sheet you add and subtract those respectively and you get a new moment. Remember moment divided by weight or moms over weight equals arm. So we're going to take the 70,000 something divided by the 1600 number. Moment divided by weight, that's going to give us an arm, which since we're dealing with the entire aircraft gives us a center of gravity. And that's your new CG, 41.93. Then you just carry down the empty weight from the box above and you get a new empty weight. Hope that helps.